going to show you how to texture the CAT character made by one of our users, Warlook. So enabling the number of cameras to four, making sure that we can see the Yeti from four different angles, front, back, and the side, blurriness of the depth to reduce the low polyness, and enabling the second control net, making it an IP adapter with a preprocessor, the modal, and the custom image. Selecting the neural network to be realistic, 1024 by 1024 resolution, six images, and the CFG scale is eight, generating the art, disabling the wireframe, and going to be picking from one of the six images. Now our task is to make sure that the four cameras are blending correctly between each other. You can see with the first camera, I'm making it most visible from the front using the white brush. And then from the side, I want to make sure that it blends nicely with the, the other camera. I'm changing between the cameras by pressing F1, F2, F3 and F4, because there are four cameras. And uh, right now I'm on camera number three with the white brush just tapping a few times to make sure that it uh, blends nicely with the frontal camera. Selecting the spots where to place um, the blending helps a lot because um, it allows to conceal the blending between the cameras to make sure that the hair flows nicer. So I'm manually brushing where I want the blending to occur using the white brush. And uh, our task is to get rid of the most obvious seams right now. We only have to do the rough uh, job I'm trying to get rid of the black spots inside of the leg by using the white brush again for this particular back camera. And then I'm already on the camera number four, which is for the left side. Using the white brush, I'm uh, blending it, making it more apparent for the side. And F1, F2, F3 to change between the cameras. Shift, right, drag to increase the brush size. And uh, I'm on camera number four, making it more soft and cover more on this side of the character. Camera number one and back to number four for the face. And you can change the brush strength and opacity by pressing one, two, three, four, five and so on. You can see that the brush strength is 0 0.3 at the top right of the stable projectors. So I want to get rid of this face disabling the IP adapter, changing the resolution to something smaller, generate quicker, and adjusting the negative prompt to specify that I don't want to see the face, the mouth, and so on. Pressing tab and using the in-paint brush, I'm covering the face and uh, gonna just generate using the latent nothing in-paint. And it's gonna make a fur for the back, which is gonna cover the face. So I'm picking between one of them Holding R, I can see it in red, where the projection is landing. Using the black brush, I'm uh, making it transition slightly better. And selectively placing strokes to make sure that the hair hopefully flows better. Let's do another in-paint, so tab and uh, drawing using the orange brush. Lane in nothing, generate art. holding R to see where it is, and using the black soft brush, I'm just uh, softening the edges. Reducing the brightness, a couple of rough adjustments to improve the blending. Adjusting this far slider to make sure that the edges around the projection are softened up and trying to cover this ugly blackness inside of the character using the white brush. Pressing the bucket tool to get rid of any kind of non-selected images and uh, just tab and uh, paint with the orange brush. Generate art. Reducing the brightness of the selected image and the saturation. A couple of taps using the black soft brush to make it softer. And uh, tab once again, covering using the in-paint brush. Generate. Some tweaks using the saturation and the value. 
and let's do the background ink paint to get rid of any kind of seams that we have so far. I'm gonna jump into the background and import a black background. It activates the ink painting mode at the bottom left automatically because there is a background. And from this direction, just gonna generate using the original 40% denoising strength at the bottom left. 40% means that we're gonna alter the image by 40%, which is sufficient to get rid of any kind of seams that used to be there. So from the other angle, once again, denoising strength 40%, on the bottom left, original, and uh, generating the image to cover any seams that used to be there. From this frontal diagonal direction where there are seams, adjusting the prompt to make sure that it's up to date. 40% strength, original, generating. And finally, gonna do the same stuff from the other direction. Original 40% denoising strength, generate art. Adjusting the far slider allows me to soften up the edges around the silhouette of the character, which is very nice and very convenient. For the face, I'm going to enable the IP adapter once again, because I want the face to be in this style. Holding R to see what I'm erasing, using the black brush, I'm going to get rid of anything on the chest to only keep the face, and like that I've fine-tuned the face. So let's have a look at the overall character once again. We missed a couple of black spots, but that's fine because we were going very quickly. Saving the image by pressing this green button at the bottom left, save 2K. It generates this um, UV space image with dilation. And I'm gonna uh, right click on the icon and adjust the visibility of that face projection just to, to conceal it and show how it affects the front of the character. Hope to see you on our Discord.